Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club. It's a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, I used an energy potion last night, so I got 15 attacks to coming up. And let's go look at my last claim. I've got, look at that, 684 plus 263, so that's about 800, 900 something parts that I claimed. And then 22.71 shards. And then I put in, I think it was two, yeah, 225 in the, in, uh, out of the comps parts that I put on my scavenger golems. And look at this. I am almost level 50 prestige 9. So probably tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, let's go do the battles real quick. Get those done with. And I've been going between... First, I'm going to do is a zero five. If I can find one, I better do 150 to 155. I think that is the range. That's because of the new uh, achievement. No, oh, I can't. Well, let me do that. All right, let's go. And try 125 to 150 or 125 to 130 and that is a 20 percent loss or win whichever one that is uh, there's now a, a reason to go that low yeah 5 to 20 percent chance okay so let's go stash I'm gonna spend maybe five trying to win and get that because it will help and as right now, we really don't know what the rewards are going to be. At least I don't. So if you know, leave it you know down below. Yeah, it's a loss. Let's try this one. I'm going to try it five times. But I want to max it out. And if you play five times at 20%, you should win once every five times. Right? Unless you're me. And then normal odds don't apply. But that theoretically, that's you should win at least one time. Okay, I'm going to do... Two more, maybe. What I'll, what I'll probably do is just do one time per claim. That way I don't use up. I, I'm missing out on a lot of parts by doing this. But if I win also with the stash high, uh, okay, one more time, and then we'll call it on the 5 to 20. I'll go back to 80, 60 to 80. That still leaves me 10 times to win. Nope. Okay. Let's go back and... This is fortification. That's what I go by for my battles. Is uh, Let me see. It was, I think, 70 to 80. Uh, search. And um, let's do the stash is already done, I believe. Yes, it is. All these guys have been attacked already. Holy cow. Let's go down here. Okay, 17. Let's go, uh, well, we'll do that later. But I, I think I lost like 50 parts being attacked. So I've already got 17 of those back. Eighty percent, one. Oh, that's not good. That was a very low... For the amount of stash and the percentage that I was doing, I should have won a lot more than that. But I've gotten as high as like 70, 80 parts 
for one battle on 70 to 80. That's a loss. Now, these go into your achievements, too, and I'll show you. Um, so I'm trying to fill them up and get them completed. It, it, it's like the 5 to 20. It's like you bet on a football game that you would never watch except for the fact that you got, you know, you're betting on that game or, or playing fantasy football for that particular player. And that's what the achievement kind of does. It, it makes you interested in stats that you normally would not want to even mess with. Which is a good thing because it's it stretches. Boy, I'm getting... I'm on a serious losing streak on this one. I usually end up with like seven or eight battles, but with the energy, you'll get like twice that amount. Okay, there's no... Not, why am I getting so little? The stash is high. Usually at 68%, I'm winning 25, 30, or more. But these last few victories have been like... There you go. They're, they're now it's kicking. Something kicked in. Okay. Maybe it was because their faith is high or something, or I don't know. You can make this game as complicated as you want, but I just... I try to keep it very efficient. And... Um, let me see. Yeah, there's only 12 on that. That's kind of... Okay, I got two more, and then we're done on the attacks. Yeah, I just got done watching Bronze Dragon's Saturday get-together, uh, and he's been uh, doing that game Credence... Immortal or whatever. Immortal something. It's a new card game. I got to check it out. I, but I, it, it ties into the problem I had in some other videos where I'm talking about there's only so much time in a day for certain, you know, for us. So you're going to have to pick and choose what games you support and spend time on what games you don't. And I, I honestly, I, I will probably love that game. But right now, I just can't take on any more on my plate. Because, you know, forget about NFTs and crypto talk about what you got going on like all day yesterday I'm gone to a funeral from uh, 10 in the morning till midnight I didn't get back till midnight and that's that's an unusual event thank God but uh, everyday life and then tie in this stuff it's just all consuming as far as you literally do not have a single second free in your day because these games can really just seep in and and take out well you know what i'm talking about if you play them um so that's why i love that's when i fell in love with the bots for uh Splinterlands, is i put that on it plays all the battles for me if i want to play i can turn it off and play um okay that's all the battles but anyway so i will immortal creed or immortal something um i will get over to it eventually okay i completed this quest five of five attack players i got those two quests from an nft that i turned in and I'll show you how that was too. And it's just giving me more things to spend my shards on for stuff I really don't need. Or I perceive I don't need. Excuse me. But let's go to the, the new thing here. Achievements. It really looks sharp. And it's right here. The, the, the less than 20%. Oh, that's less than 20. I wonder if I have to do like 19%. Or is that, yeah. Well, either way. But that's going to be tough to fill out. i got to get eight more. I've already had seven of them. So, and actually that's, yeah, well, you see, but we don't know what the rewards are. Is it just bragging rights, you know, like rankings and stuff? Or do you get, you're going to get NFTs? What are you going to get? We don't know yet. Or I don't, at least. We'll keep our ears open and see what happens. Okay, let's go claim. So 433 total. I had 900 last night from my 15 claims. I was winning like 80 parts at a battle on some of them. And there it goes. It claimed. Goodbye stash. Going up into here. And I got 20 shards. So right about 124, 125. 
R123. Okay, so I've got the regular parts, which you can take off and spend if you want. The 142, which are so bound. They're both pretty much the same, just one's called comp. It's so bound, and the other one's not. And so I always like to use this one up first. I usually use it on my scavenger golems that crumbled. So let's go look at the attacks. So I need 140 just to get back on the very bottom there. 13.94. So that'd be 140 parts. So I'm going to do 150 parts. Okay. Let's go look at... Here's all my battles. See how I won the last one, two, three, four, five? And then that one's 35, but... And then I lost. But I... I got attacked not at all last night. Okay. Well, I, I played like at 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's why it wasn't that long. So I, that's all pretty good. Pure profit. So let's do 150 onto my scavengers. We'll use up this 142. Actually, I'll just do the 142 because it's 139. So that will take care of my comp. I also upgraded two different categories last night with all those parts. And that would have been okay, advanced level 48. I staked 40 part. I upgraded faith and fortification. That was a really good claim last night. Okay. Now let's go do my hundred on reputation for my experience points to help out with prestige nine so we'll go over to here and we'll do a hundred that if I get ten or more experience points an hour I'm happy but like D crops the the new game that I can't remember the name of it for some reason um, I'll eventually get into them as I you know, things get good and I get more free time, but I just can't right now. I just don't have enough time. Okay, so I got 270. Yeah, 10.5, so I'm good on the reputation. So now let's do a little bit of faith. I'm going to do 25 on the bank. Let's do 30. As long as you burn 80%, you're okay. I really don't need to be staking this. I got plenty of stash that I'm not even close to maxing out between claims. I claim once in the morning, once in the evening. But um, I like to collect money, I guess, <laughs> or, or crypto, whatever. So let's go uh, 378, 385, and 381. So my next one is going to be power. I do the, the lowest one. And I'm going to give it all 240. And that will be the claim and burn for the day or for the morning. And let's go look at some NFTs. And yeah, see right here, re-rows two step values of module. Uh, rows, or is it that? That's not. Let's, let's open this, the trinket. I got two left. open crate see what I get I got a machine God's blessing convert 10 reputation to 5 experience I don't see the need for that I mean I'll probably can I sell this I don't know let's find out where did it go no, they're, they're bound. The chains right there means you can't sell them. So I'll probably use them just to see what it does. Uh, but what I want to do, I can produce my faith by six until the next claim. Or I don't need any more pirate right at the second. Provide a boost to relic radar by one until the next claim. I'm going to do that see what that does. Oh, I can sell that. I'm going to hold off. If I can sell it, I usually hang on to it. That's the boost of power. All these. I'll start using the... And see, I can sell those too. Gain energy. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. I might sell these. 
I really don't need them. And I should open these up. But I won't. But anyway, that's it. Hey, like and subscribe. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club. If you haven't joined Golem Overlord yet, please join. Help build this platform. It's a great game. It's going to only get better, it looks like. Um, it's $10 a join, but you can get your money back by uh, trading out shards and parts on the Hive Engine. Remember, though, you got to burn 80% every claim. Just keep that number in mind. Okay, have a nice day.